Yep. My name is Min Jung Shin. I'm a Qt product manager at Nokia. Uh, uh, we have a uh, R&D center here in Brisbane in you know, my plans and that's where sorry. Uh, Qt Quick that Alan presented and Qt Mobility APIs I developed. And as part of a MIGO project, I'm here to present uh, the value of MIGO and history of it and what, what it means for the developers. So first, oh, before I start, uh, there's a, a very exciting announcement at the end of my presentation, so please stay with me to the uh, last slide. Uh, so uh, about MIGO. MIGO is a truly open Linux platform for the next generation of computing devices. So um, this uh, MIGO is formed by Intel and Nokia. Uh, Intel had a platform called Moblin uh, for, for a few years, and Nokia had Maemo. Uh, and uh, MIGO is a com combination of those two platforms to become a truly open, uh, inno innovative uh, Linux platform. Even though it is uh, formed by two uh, these commercial companies, it is hosted by Linux Foundation so that it can be uh, vendor neutral. And uh, MIGO is targeting uh, various device categories, including uh, handhelds, uh, in-vehicle infotainment devices, netbook, and televisions. MIGO, uh, when it, uh, from the architectural point of view, MIGO has two parts. Uh, uh, MIGO core is uh, common to all devices uh, types. So when we say MIGO core stack, it's common to all these uh, handheld devices in vehicle information, uh, infotainment devices, and televisions. And on top of MIGO core, there is a reference user exp experience layer, uh, which to show how the GUI can be uh, innovating on top of this MIGO core stack. So uh, there are three uh, reference user interfaces uh, stack at the moment, available for download. So this is a little bit of history of MIGO. Um, as I said, it uh, was announced by Nokia and Intel at Mobile World Congress 2010 in, uh, in February. So it's about one year old project. And in April, a Geneva Alliance uh, and BMW Group adopted MIGO. So Geneva is a non-profit organization uh, formed to create a Linux-based uh, platform for automotive uh, industry. And then um, in May 2010, MIGO 1.0 was released with Netbook UX uh, uh, image. Uh, MIGO has this six months uh, release cadence, so it has two releases per year. So um, in the first uh, half, it releases around April and May, and in the second half, it uh, releases around October. So in October 2010, there was MIGO 1.1 released with, uh, it provided a handset, handset and IVI and netbook UX. In November, there was a MIGO conference in Dublin. Uh, at that conference, AMD joined the alliance, which shows how the ind industry is forming around this uh, MIGO, MIGO foundation. And uh, very soon, in the first half of 2011, we, uh, MIGO will release 1.2 with uh, very much new features, including Qt Quick. Um, it'll have the latest Qt version and latest mobility, so it'll be full of new features. A little bit about governance uh, and licensing policy. Uh, so MIGO, uh, as an open source project, it's led by a technical steering group. So technical ste steering group is formed uh, with members from Nokia and, uh, and Intel but it, does not limit it. it is not limited to those uh, parties. And uh, this uh, technical steer steering group is responsible for making big decisions on the project level. And their meeting is quite open. The meeting is held on IRC channel and the meeting notes are all in the archive. 
So you can always uh, go and have a look what they're discussing. Um, below that, uh, there's a working group to steer day-to-day -day operations on each device category. So for example, there's network work working group uh, deciding the feature sets and the uh, operational decisions. So um, the government's model is based on uh, meritocracy and the best practice on this uh, open source community. And by that, uh, I mean uh, the, the party with the more contribution in terms of features and in terms of code, the, mo the more you contribute, the more you have uh, the ability to steer this uh, direction of this project. And also Miko encourages uh, community contributions in line with the best practice of open source development model. Uh, by that, it means uh, we want, Migo wants to stay very close to the upstream projects. Uh, the best pra practice for the upstream project is keeping all the patches in the upstream, so, so it's easier for the Migo when, when we distribute the new release, it's easier to upgrade the, to the new version. And the users of the Migo can uh, take a benefit of all the uh, advanced innovative features without applying patches. And Amigo Core mainly adopts a copyright uh, right license uh, to make it open. So Amigo Core has a lot of uh, software modules which provides this copy left <laughs> license. And uh, the UX layers uh, adopt BSD style so that uh, device makers, they can protect their own uh, add-ons if they wish. So uh, this is an architecture diagram. Uh, if you go to migo.com, you can see three kinds of architectural diagrams. So this is a layer view. Uh, there's also a domain view and API view. So in this layer view, you can see all the uh, layers that consist of this Migo stack. It doesn't appear here, but at the bottom, we have a Linux kernel, of course, and uh, glibc or dbus very uh, core OS modules. Uh, as I said, we try to stay very close to the upstream projects. For, so, for example, Linux kernel in MIGO 1.0, it was using Linux 2.6.33. 1.1 was released with 2.6.35. And upcoming uh, 1.2 will have more uh, advanced version of Linux kernel. And then hardware adaptation is responsible for making sure that uh, the, the stack is utilizing all the hardware accelerated um, media codecs or encoding and decoding and so on. And on, to on top of that, core OS is, uh, consists of a lot of software components. So for example, security, uh, security framework, data management uh, framework, um, package management, um, Location, which is a big part, uh, graphics, and multimedia, PIM, communications, and Qt is part of Migo Core OS stack. And on top of that, it, there's something called Migo APIs. Migo API is uh, APIs are set of APIs that Migo is making sure guarantees that the compatibility between MIGO devices. So even though there are a lot of stacks in, on the core OS, uh, only selected APIs will be uh, advertised as MIGO APIs, and you will be encouraged to use MIGO APIs if you wish to keep your application compatible across MIGO uh, devices. So at the moment, in 1.1, uh, Qt, uh, Qt Mobility and OpenGL were part of uh, Migo APIs. And uh, on top of Migo APIs, they, now there's a user experience layer. So these uh, vertical uh, stacks uh, to, to give, give uh, GUI, different GUI user experience look and feel uh, for this targeted, uh, targeted uh, category. Um, here are 
a, a few upstream projects. Uh, there are more, but uh, here are the most uh, uh, prominent ones uh, on the stack. So GStreamer, uh, Pulse Audio, Ophono, Com and Common, Bluezy, and Qt. So Qt is also an uh, upstream project uh, for Migo. So uh, we encourage all the patches to come to us as a merge request, and we, uh, we, we provide the latest Qt version to the next uh, Migo releases. So here you can see um, a lot of a lot of uh, components are maintained by Intel. Some components are maintained by Nokia. Um, it's a very big collaborative uh, operation. And uh, software stack these days are not really complete without uh, the tools for the developers. So let's see what tools we provide. Um, as an open source project, all the requirement is, requirements are managed in an open manner. So we use FeatureZilla to list all the new features coming and all the discuss, discussions are happening there, scheduling and so on. And release management is maintained in, on the wiki. So each, uh, there's a weekly release, session, release cycle. So on, if you go to wiki.com, Migo.com, you can see uh, what kind of images are available uh, on a given week. Source control is uh, using Git, uh, so all the Migo, Migo projects, not upstream projects, are um, hosted in this Gitorius, Migo.Gitorius.com. And there's a build system uh, called OBS, Open Source Build Service. Is uh, to give uh, the community to build their application uh, on Migo environment. And SDK, uh, Migo SDK is based on Qt Creator, uh, which comes with Qt. Qt Quick Designer will be there in one dot, uh, Migo 1.2. Um, so it, it gives you just easier way to develop the uh, Migo applications. And also uh, bugs should be tracked, so it's a Bugzilla. Uh, in terms of the tool, uh, FeatureZilla and Bugzilla, uh, they're, they're the same tool. Uh, it's bugs.migo.com, but uh, we use the same tool for all these uh, activities. Uh, for the quality, uh, there's a, a tool called Open Test Service, OTS. So um, it's basically a, a tool that uh, you can give it a, a, some image and it'll dis distribute that image to a working machine and it'll connect to an actual hardware and run the test cases on, on behalf of you. So all these tools are based on open source projects and it's open for the developers. You can, um, you can help and be part of Migo project at any level. So uh, let's have a look at the Migo ecosystem. So overall, Migo project is responsible for the, this uh, left side of the diagram. Uh, so there's a Migo component project here, plus a lot of upstream projects become this um, Migo.com software stack, which includes um, a build environment, Migo core, and this uh, reference U UX layer. And then uh, the chipset vendors or the integrators will take this stack and add their own modules. It could be uh, a new codex, it could be some uh, closed source code. Um, and then they uh, create this operating system and distribute on various devices. Okay, let's have a look at uh, how this, you know, Migo helps the actual device creation case. So Amino is a UK-based uh, set-top box manufacturer. They uh, presented their case at Migo conference at November, in November last year. So Migo, Amino took Migo 1.1 and built a new set-top box much faster than uh, they expected. 
And their success uh, was uh, because of benefits of full Linux di distribution. Um, traditionally, the embedded Linux dis distribution has a lot of difficulties in during the development, this cross compilation, all the um, lack of tools. So they really like the, the full Linux distribution, which came with a lot of tools and they could easily uh, use the desktop project. So it's a very good uh, success case. So the, uh, the MIGO project tools and the ecosystem is all working together. And what's the value for you uh, as a developer? So MIGO gives you a truly open uh, platform. You can contribute at any level. And uh, as by adopting Qt, which is a cross-platform toolkit, uh, once you invest your uh, time and effort on MIGO, you can use the same knowledge to target Symbian. Very easy. Which increases your business opportunity. And um, with the tools uh, such as SDK, you can shorten the development time. And you, you want to re reuse your application across many different platforms. So Migo uh, promised you with this uh, compliance program. So by using these uh, APIs under the compliance program, your application is guaranteed to run other uh, devices and uh, well it's backed up by Nokia and Intel we're putting a lot of uh, you know uh, money and effort into this project so we we try to keep the good quality at all times um, and uh, you can take an advantage of that so there are many ways to join Migo and contribute so go to Migo.com to find out about Migo and go to wikis to to look at the release cycle, how the releases are made, what's the current status. If you're interested in the quality, you can go to QA-reports at migo.com. And of course, there are mailing lists and RRC channels. Thank you. Any questions? Uh, are you Pardon? Are you LSB compliance? LSB components. Compliance. compliance. Um, I, not that I'm aware of, but I can find out. Are there any Migo-enabled devices out there? So uh, the, the Amino uh, TV that's out, uh, and at, um, Intel, uh, uh, they're targeting a lot of devices, you know, utilizing Atom and new chipsets, and at Nokia, all I can say is we have planned to uh, ship legal devices in the future. What are the plans for getting uh, mobile handsets into development teams? Why comparison with them with Google's been giving phones away pretty much to anybody else? Really? Yeah. And... Why? 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 So, uh, it, it helps with your North America at the time. Uh, but my, my concern has been, um, I think, Nokia and Intel have products that I want to support, but I'm also not made of money. Mm -hmm. um, Uh, yeah, we have many programs. That's why we have Jem here uh, from from Nokia. Jem is a development relations manager. So maybe I can have you here. Thank you for the question. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so I'll just have uh, three uh, sentences. Yes, if you contact me, I can just provide any developer uh, with devices that uh, working with us. And uh, so just before lunch, uh, let me introduce myself, my role, and also today's competition. So uh, my role is Nokia Developer Relations Manager, and it's uh, recently created to support you guys, A, in uh, business world, and B, in Nokia world. And to appreciate this right now, I'm uh, with the team. We're talking with businesses, brands, and content owners in Australia and New Zealand and also to create a, a vibrant uh, ecosystem for you guys 
This year we're going to have uh, code camps, free trainings, business updates for you, and competitions. Uh, and today's competition is, uh, we're just seeking a original idea, an app idea, uh, and the winner is going to have a, a 900 plus once the application is in the store, we're going to support the application with uh, $10,000 uh, media uh, support, marketing support. And other than that, I don't want to keep you too long. Just please enjoy your lunch. And uh, to enter the competition, you can either grab one of these and fill it in, or uh, just simply email the same email addresses here as well. Uh, the, you can enter it. Uh, I think it closed on the 4th of February. So you can just think about the idea and just get back to us. And if you want to uh, just learn more and discuss how we can you know, work together and create more applications and a better environment in Australia and New Zealand, I'll be in the lunch. Just please see me and grab a card and uh, it will be great to discuss further. Thank you. Cheers. No okay. Thank you very much for being